Welcome on back to the Horror Hour, the place where we debate, discuss, and disagree on all things horror. I'm one of your co-hosts, Pugapilla, today hosting the show. Today I'm joined by Yutaka... Huh? Uh, okay. One of the other co-hosts, Liam. Liam, how are you good? Um, George? Nick, Nick says boo? The really strong, buff, Dominican one? David? <laughs> I guess I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> By myself! Welcome to the horror hour. We all go a little mad. Oh, oh, you Well, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel, Pugapilla, P-U-G-G-A-P-I-L-L-A-R. I do reactions. Uh, I do, I'm do. i doing Breaking Bad at the moment. I've recently uploaded Evil Dead Rise and a bunch of other really good movies. Uh, since this is my video today, uh, we're doing it by my rules because no one else can enforce them. This is my show. Welcome to the Pugga Hour. Now, as always on the Horror Owl, we do say thank you to one of our patrons and uh, thank you to Pugapilla for being a patron. Uh, we do really appreciate you. I am promoting myself because it's my show today. I'm allowed to. I'm also a Patreon member and I'm shouting myself out because I can. I don't think there's ever been a solo hosted episode on the Horror Hour, but we're doing it and it's with me. And I, if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. I don't care. Today, we're going to be talking the scariest kids movies. So kids that you've seen... <laughs> kids movies you saw when you were a child that terrified you that now stick in your brain as an adult. And uh, it can be from a certain scene. It can be the whole movie in general. Before we get into that, though, I would like to talk about my life recently. I recently was very sick. I had a lot of time on the toilet and it wasn't very nice and I think I had a version of gastro so <coughs> congratulations you've got it I actually spent a night in hospital uh from a kidney infection that shit was not nice because it was matched with gastro and I'm telling you I did not have a fun time but as you can probably tell though I'm feeling a bit better I am hosting the show by myself because Everyone else in the reaction community hates me. Anyways, this video is going to be a train wreck. So I've decided I want to talk about a couple things before we actually talk about some scary kids movies. I want to talk to you about how to make the perfect bird bath and attract all the freaky neighborhood birds. You know, you have the normal birds like a pigeon and stuff. And then you got like the blackbirds. We call them common blackbirds here, right? That's literally what they're called. And then we have other birds that are kind of like freaky birds. So they're a little bit flirty. They kind of want to the other birds, but we're not here to talk about birds banging each other. We're here to talk about how to make a good bird buff. So then you can feed these birds. So then if they do decide to get with a freaky bird and they have bird offspring, then you can feed their family. If you do all this correctly as well, you can actually feed this bird's family for like under $10 a week, which yeah. is cheaper than actually surviving as a human. Pro tip is if you need to survive and you haven't got money for food, eat the bird food. <clears throat> what you would like to start off with first, ideally is a feeder, because if you feed the birds, they will come back and then expect a drink and then that's when you can offer them one of the beers from your fridge or like a chocolate milk if they're you know if they're not lactose intolerant but you ideally want to start with a bird feeder because you always eat before you drink and the same applies to birds we're going to go through 12 diy bird feeders that will fill your garden with just songbirds now i don't know what a songbird is i just know what a regular bird is a colorful bird feeder so this doesn't give us instructions, it seems, but um, it is colorful, isn't it? I feel like 
the colorblind birds are not going to appreciate a bird feeder like this though because they're not going to be able to see the colors and that's also a good thing because that means the birds that can't see colors are not racist i kind of like this get up at the moment there's three houses there the rent probably isn't too high they can the birds can just go and chill in here when they want hopefully it's not a really fat bird otherwise they're going to get stuck in the house which is not ideal if you're a bird see now this is the kind of bird feeder you don't this is lazy you're just hanging a bit of bird food off a branch you can put some effort in buy a table some chairs some cups this looks like an oven mitten this looks horrible Whoever made this should be ashamed. Terrible choice of bird feeder. An orange macramey bird feeder. Well, that one's interesting. A wine bottle bird feeder. Now, this one goes for the alcoholic birds, you know, the ones that are in their mid-40s who have a couple of children and they're just running amok at home. You want to make a bird feeder that also is inclusive to adults so they can have a drink when they've had a rough day. The problem with a bird feeder like this, though, is you will attract the alcoholics. Look how much food is in that feeder. One bird gets a hold of this part right here and it's over. They're going to have to start going to Alcoholics Anonymous. They're going to have drank way too much, probably overdose, and then their kids are not going to have parents. So uh, do not recommend a bird feeder like this, though the aesthetic, the aesthetic kind of a kind of a vibe. Soda bottle bird feeder. So this is what to do if you don't feel like uh, getting 10 cents from recycling a bottle, which is a thing in Australia. This looks terrible, ugly, throw it in the bin. Not a fan of that at all. Now, I kind of have one like this. So I have a bit of string, it's actually chains, and then a bowl, and it hangs from the tree, and birds love it. In fact, I normally fill it up, and by the end of the second day, all the food's gone. So there, we have some greedy birds, the little, these little sparrow things, they're annoying. I, I wish I could kill them. When the pigeons show up, or the doves, and they want to eat some food, all the food's gone, because these little fucking greedy little bitches eat all the food, so nobody else has it. They're already tiny, like they're tiny. This is what I'm looking at, ready? These little things, a house sparrow, they eat all the food in these in, in my little bird feeder, so none of the other birds get any food. They're greedy, they're already small enough as it is. Like, tell me why, tell me why a bird of this size needs to eat a lot of food. It could have one seed and it's fine for the day, but it doesn't. It's greedy, Teacup candle sans bird feeder. That's it's a bird feeder, is what that is. This is for the fancy birds, the ones who walk around with Louis Vuitton, uh, Gucci, you know, all that sort of high pristine shit the birds shouldn't own. Um, I swear, the other day I went past a feeder like this, and there was like a little, little cockatoo in like a, a full blown like Lambo, and I was like. Uh, birds living better than me this one's for the rich birds all right and it's also for rich people so anyone watching the horror hour won't be able to make this what the f is that bird and butterfly water yeah also water is important a Fortnite victory royale bird feeder umbrella that's pretty cool i don't so that plate is a sunshade is that right i'm starting to realize that maybe the bird feeder i have mate it might be a bit common I mean, I might not be feeding them right. Ac oh, gee. Okay, now we're just getting too rich. What's the next one going to be? No, that looks like we're going to blow them up. That looks like we're going to put a bit of food there and we're going to go, here you go, here little birdie, and then the bird's going to eat it and then go... <laughs> Glass shade. No. See, this is too rich. All right, too rich. Oh, f*** this bird. I don't like this bird. So there's some bird feeder ideas you could do for feeding birds. Now, for feeding birds water, or, you know, giving them water, you just literally need a bowl of water. That's it. They know how to drink. All right, next up, we are doing smash or pass reactors edition. I'm going to be choosing reactors that I know of or reactors that know of me, uh, not just from our little group, but in general. So uh, this will give you some insight into who I watch. I would also like to clarify, do not take this segment seriously. Just don't. First up, we have George Alexander. And I'm going to say... I think we'd smash. Eh, maybe. He would have to have drugged me, but I feel like maybe. Smash or pass, Liam. Liam, uh, I think he'd give really good cuddles, honestly. 
Um, pass, pa pass. I think he'd be a good cuddle buddy and that's about it. Nick says boo. Uh, no. Nick says boo. I'm going to give a pass to because he looks like a DJ that I wouldn't enjoy the music he plays. So, uh, no. But Nick is an excellent friend. But he would not be a good friends with benefits. Next up is David. Uh, obviously, that is a no. He would f***ing squash me like a grape. I'm intimidated by him, honestly. Have you seen what that man looked like two years ago compared to now? What sort of f***ing water is he drinking? Yutaka, I would say no to because uh, I'm not gay. Uh, well, actually, to a lot of them, I'd say no because I'm not gay. I would like to jump over him. I think he would be a good, like, little pole vault. You know when you're a kid and you'd, like, launch yourself over a pole, like, pole vault? I think I would like to pole vault over you, Tucker. I think it would be fun. Next up in Smash or Pass would be Jay Meets World. And, oh, honestly, seems like too much of a problem, actually. So I'm going to say Pass. Uh, she did call me a DILF, though. Uh, Pug is a DILF. But uh, aside from that, she just seems a bit problematic. So I'm going to say pass on Jay. Next up, though, we have uh, Chance from Chance's House of Horror. And uh, Smash, fellow dad, I think we could have a good time together. We could Super Smash Bros is what you can call us because we would be two bros smashing. I'd play Smash Bros with him. The next one is a double bag. It is Bridge Co. And uh, just out of respect... No, pass. They're my good friends. But uh, Cody, a couple beers and would be good, you know? But out of respect, Bridget likes TikTok too much, so uh, no thank you. Pass. The Horror Bandwagon, otherwise known as the Horror Bangwagon, because they are a couple. Look, I'm going to say probably they'd be good friends. I think I'm going to pass, honestly, because if they brought a third into the mix, it wouldn't be the Horror Bangwagon anymore. It would be the Horror Bang Train. And I just don't want to be a part of that. It'd, I'd feel like the third wheel. And um, yeah, look, I'd, I'm going to say no. Next up is Niall No Chill. And... Um, I'm starting to realize there's a lot of males in this. Pass. Niall is from the UK. He also seems like a little bit of a ratty boy. I feel like he'd be a bit of a feral monster in real life. I don't know. He seems like he'd be one of the like chavvy kind of guys. I don't think I'd like to be around him. Next up is Chu. Uh, Smash. Yeah, Smash. Because he's funny. He says some things I don't understand. But he's genuinely a funny guy, and I think I'd actually have a lot of fun with Chu. Maybe we wouldn't smash, but he seems like a fun guy. Actually, pass. Yeah, pass. You mean the movies? Um, I'm gonna say pass, because he's literally my boss. I edit for that channel, and it would be weird to say I would smash my boss. So, definite pass! Next up, we have Awkward Ashley. I'm gonna say pass because I've, like, I've said pass to pretty much everyone. She's from Texas. And I just don't like Texas. I don't think I'd like people from Texas. Apart from Janelle, because she's a Patreon of mine. She gives me a Patreon request every month. And she literally keeps me being able to do this as, like, my thing. So, Janelle's the only person from Texas I think I like. And maybe Jay. But it depends on the day with Jay. And last but not least is Pugapilla and Smash. I would self-smash, actually. Smash. They're just names off the top of my head. Uh, there's certainly reactors out there that I haven't remembered their name. And for that, I'm sorry. You're just not smashable. And um, I apologize for that. If there were any reactors I did leave out, please let me know in the comments. And I will reply with smash or pass. Okay, personally, I will reply. But to end this segment on a fun note, in the comments, you need to say smash or pass to me. Don't be scared, you, you can type smash, it's okay. Another thing I would actually really like to talk about, even show you potentially, is Minecraft. Uh, can I show you my Minecraft house? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my house, otherwise known as Pug's Mojo Dojo Casa House. And... Get out of my way. Alright, so that's how you get rid of cows in Minecraft. This is my little, like, porta potty. So I normally bend over the side of this and just take a mean turd down there. And it flush. Look, it self flushes. So it flushes itself. Here's my little door. Now, I am still renovating at the moment. So please don't be unimpressed. I would like a rating out of 10 in the. Oh. 
I forgot that I had little employees in here. Hello? Anyways, this is my disposal bin. So, uh, yeah, disposal bin. Um, fill the ocean up. I don't know who wrote that there, but just ignore it. So, we can just chuck... Oh, there you go. Oh, there. Damn. Just chuck it into the ocean. Uh, this is my little pool. We do so we do swimming in here sometimes. My like nice little glass lookout. Nothing. Very beautiful. Some nice little lighting. Some some grass so your feet isn't just touching dirt. Nice little walk up so you can just ah oh, 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 just go for a swim. Uh, this is where they have baths. So this is their showering area. They need to just get in here and wash themselves because they haven't got their own homes. This is where they live. Oh, excuse me. Someone has removed my ladders. So I sleep here sometimes when I'm not grinding because, you know, the reaction, we're grinding mindset. If you haven't already subscribed to Pugger Pillar on YouTube. Oh, no. Oh, no. My cats. My cats. Have my cats gotten out? Okay, guys. Uh, just give me a second. Those cats are not meant to be out and about, which is very concerning. Alright, I'm a little panicked now, because someone's f***ed with my place. Here's my here's my diner. So, we're, we're yet to put tables and chairs in, but this is where people can sit and just have a nice meal. Also, a lovely lookout into Yutaka's home. Yutaka's home is... Uh, Yutaka's home might be a bit better than mine, but it doesn't matter where... Okay, there is no way in hell I just got jump scared by that villager man. Oh. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! We do not kill people in this facility, thank you very much! Holy shit, he just got jumped! Uh, yeah, nice long table here because, you know, the classic joke of someone sits at this end and then another person sitting all the way over that end. Someone screwed my chair up, that's meant to be there. Uh, let's go and see if my cats have all escaped. Because I'm going to be very upset if they have. Okay. So just ignore that that says that. Because they do try to leave. And they're not allowed to. Also, please ignore the amount of breeding that has been taking place. And also the sounds. Because it does kind of sound like I'm torturing a bunch of cats up here. I, I do want to promise I am not torturing these guys. Though, though it does kind of look like they want to escape... I promise you they're okay. A uh, nice little cherry blossom tree. It's a bit cute, I reckon. Nice little style. This is... They can eat the grass here. They, We don't feed them cat food here. I can't open the gate because they're going to get out. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I told you not to leave. You guys are... Oops. You guys are meant to stay in that spot, please. Oh, this one's quick. It knows what's about to happen. You guys have got to stop escaping. This always happens. All right. So that's starting to make me a little bit upset by how loud they're like meowing. That's normally what not what they do. They're normally pretty happy. Lovely little rooftop, I think. It would be quite difficult to... There's another cat. How are my villagers now escaping? Alright, now to end this segment, let's blow up Jay's house. Okay, so this is Jay's house here. Uh, has she done any work to it? No. You know what? I, it kind of feels a little bit mean to blow up her house, so I think I'm not going to do that. I'm going to blow up all the cats. Actually, no, that also feels really mean. I'm going to do something different. Speed run. All right, so this is what we've got so far. A bunch of villagers trapped in there and uh, TNT wall. Are they dying immediately? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh. Look at them all. They're so scared. So, yeah, that was my Minecraft ha Who the hell is calling me on Discord? Oh, <gasps> a guest! I don't know how to address you now. You've <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like it. <laughs> just... um, introduce take it from there. <laughs> so none of my, like, podcast friends would join me today. They all decided I'm, like, too, too, br too much of a brand risk. So... Uh, I've found the next desperate person who wanted some attention, and it is also C Cody in the same room I'm in. <laughs> Hi, thank you for inviting me to your home to film this pug. It's really gracious of you. I really appreciate it. And hey, at least you were invited to be on the podcast, you know? <laughs> I have to make my own. <laughs> uh, subscribe to Fun Bad. They have oh. posted zero <laughs> videos. It'll but come. It's going to start. It's soon. a growing channel, okay? It is, honestly. It's, congratulations on almost hitting 98,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's crazy. That was actually the number I'm aiming for, so I can't wait to hit it. Well, you've gotten to a point where now you have to copy other YouTubers, obviously. So you bought the same house as me and laid it out the exact same. Yeah. Well, you started it by taking my hairstyle, sir, so. <laughs> Funnily enough, I've still got like two millimeters more hair than you. You do. Damn it. It's coming. Do you shave your head like every couple of days or does the hair just never grow? No, I shave every two, three days, sometimes four. And then you can see a little scruff and then you're like, oh, you should yeah, make no, it a yeah, little no, bit today. spiky. <laughs> <laughs> just a tiny bit spiky. I'm not going to shave my head till we hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can't do that. I would freak out. Anyways, uh, also, I would like to say you've done a really good job with the setup. I do like how we've changed Thanks. it up a little bit. I've got like a nice little light. You've got Chucky there. Yeah. I'm sticking to the horror theme, you know, the people like brought me to where I'm at today. Well, you kind of actually fill out my background better than I ever did. So and that's not a weight. That's not free. a weight thing. I just <laughs> want to say that's not a weight thing. It really fits. You're actually sitting behind me. They just can't tell. Now, you know what would be awesome is if somehow you managed to get the cat to run up your hallway. <laughs> <laughs> That's I when I would be like, what the f is happening? I almost put face paint on my daughter. It almost <laughs> happened. <laughs> I didn't have time. Are you aware you would have put all this effort into a like eight out of 10 performer video <laughs> for the horror oh, hour? Man, I always do. So all it's right. fine. I'm rolling on a 10 out of 10 today. Well, uh, since no one else was going to join me today, I have asked Cody here, not Bridget, because we don't like women on the horror hour, obviously. Yeah. We only are a podcast with men. Yeah, I told her to sit over there and not talk for 30 minutes. Good. Press the mute button, IRL. This one's for the boys. We're talking scariest kids movies. Now, do you remember when you were a child, Cody? Oh, pfft so vividly what's the like core memory of being a child like um my first memory was my father's funeral at age three uh it was pretty much all uphill from there well that is a scary kids movie in a way true it actually relates to one of my choices today you'll see well uh i've got a list you've got a list because otherwise we would have just been talking about something else and this whole episode would have made so much more sense yeah well i think what you've done is great oh my god <laughs> hold on things are falling apart i almost had a heart attack oh my god <laughs> Her face just kind of faded into the background and my heart actually just kind of stopped. <laughs> she forgot I was uh, doing a thing for a second, I think. It was just the deadpan face of... I'm going to be walking around in my house thinking, is Cody and Bridget's door just going to appear in the hallway? It's an apparition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, since you're yeah. the guest for today, would you like to start off? I've got a variety here, okay? My first one, though, is probably the best one I can think of. So I w was seven years old when I started watching Scream and then the Halloween franchise. 
So mm -hmm. I really graduated quickly to scary stuff. I wasn't really that scared of many things. But one of the few things that to this day I think is really creepy, and I think actually a lot of people will agree, so not really starting off with anything too controversial here, but Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Have you ever seen that? No, but I did see he died, and that was sad. Rest in peace, yeah. He also got caught doing inappropriate things in a movie theater. Oh, so he had his Pee-wee out. Yeah, uh, that was probably one of the jokes. Regardless, Pee-wee's Big Adventure is a grown man who loses his bicycle. And this movie was, I think it was actually done by Tim Burton. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the, the main one everyone's going to remember for sure is Large Marge. Uh, which was I have seen the terrifying that, truck. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, even I've you seen know. That. I haven't seen the movie, Tell but I've large, seen that like, Marge <laughs> sent ya. <laughs> um, there's a lot of really funny and scary bits in there, too. Specifically, and I'm not even afraid of clowns, really. I'm not like a huge clown phobic, whatever they call that. But you are a clown. I, damn it. It's rude. There was a scene where he was after he lost his bike and he was thinking about it. I think it was I don't know, I forget how it went, but he had a dream and like these these doctors and these clowns come in and they're taking his bike away and then the surgeon pulls his mask down and he's got a big clown face too. It was the most terrifying dream Ooh. ever. Large Marge and that whole situation gives me like rock bottom spongebob vibes when he goes Holy down to that <laughs> yes oh my god why yeah, I'm, i've actually vibes. i've actually got a spongebob episode as one of my picks but <laughs> that movie with that scene yes absolutely <laughs> so that's the vibe i got um and i loved peewee but it was scary all right well what's your second choice what what do you mean i'm just running a train on this did you prepare anything i already gave all my answers before we started recording so i don't need to say them I'm kidding. I can do my one. I haven't said them. Uh, all right. So I'll go with my first pick and it is a, uh, it's a franchise, but it's not, I like the skeleton peeking over your shoulder. I'm dead inside. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Oh shit. Now there's a, there's two scenes in this one. That's the second one. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yes. You're right. Uh, you are correct. One for you, I think, that would have scared the shit out of you as a kid is the big snake. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> for me, it was the forest and the spiders. Oh, and I genuinely no, no, think... Yeah. Oh. Ugh, I genuinely think to this day, I think that that whole scene in the forest is the reason why I have the fear of spiders that I do. Was, was that your arachnophobia awakening? That giant... I absolutely think so. Spider. I actually think it was. Look, the big giant spider is terrifying but i think it's the fact of like some of the shots they use where you can just see them dwindling down from the trees and there's hundreds of them oh the big oh yeah when they in the forest yeah i learned recently that um that big spider was originally meant to have just white eyes and that would have looked so much scarier but um they went with the black instead obviously more but, realistic like i I was going to do like a Harry Potter rewatch on my channel at some point, like start it. I don't think yeah. if I get to that movie, I don't think I'll be able to watch that at, like, at all. <laughs> you are a grown up. You can watch it. No. As soon as Ron's like, why couldn't they be butterflies? I think I'm going to be like, all right, let's go to the next chapter. Thanks. We got multiple terrifying spider movies coming out in the next month. So you got to get ready. You got to get ready for it. No oh way. My gosh. Okay, you uh, froze for a minute. It scared me. Oh, did I? <laughs> it's all uh, <laughs> method acting. Just part of the show. All right, you want my second choice? No, you're f***ing with me now. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were blurry the first time. <laughs> I knew it was real. I will have your second choice, thank you very much. Um, The Lion King, all right? This goes back to my dad's funeral. Was your dad Mufasa? <laughs> Dude, I was 13 till I realized my dad wasn't trampled in a stampede, actually. Oh, my so. God. <laughs> Dude, the Lion King was scary, though. The hyenas, the, the fucking elephant's graveyard. Can I just... Uh, sorry, two seconds. Shout out to Anna Fox for pledging 10 pounds on my Patreon. Appreciate it. As a personal pa channel plug? <laughs> I've already plugged it in, <laughs> in this video anyway. Yeah. Check out Bridgeco. All that. That's fun. But yeah, uh, a lot of Disney movies are scary. And childhood trauma, so... Thought I'd throw one out there. I think that one for Bambi. me, Disney-wise, and I didn't have this on my list, was um, Pinocchio. 
the <laughs> scene where the kid turns into the donkey, but they like show it as a shadow on the wall. <laughs> and you can just hear the kid going. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh. I'd be more scared of him being eaten by a whale because that happened at some point too. I was like, isn't that Moby Dick? But I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty sure it was. <laughs> was it your pick or mine? My pick, I think. Yeah. You're you're up. Pick number two. All right. So my next pick is Monsters, Inc. <laughs> okay. Same sort of similar. The first scene in that movie uh, where they're like showing what the movie is about and the goo the spiky one goes into the room and then oh, yeah, oh the my scare. god terrifying and i was always scared of that mr crab guy as well like the big one the boss guy i don't i don't know why he just freaked me out um yeah but- boss energy dad energy i always found <laughs> mike was asking to be a bit of a cutie and i think he still is today so my eye on you that's yeah, the, my one eye now do you think he <laughs> blinks or winks oh and does he have a butthole <laughs> he has actually two buttholes uh due to to make up for his lack of eyes but like where's uh, his uh, stomach go where's like his eyeball takes up most of his body so like where's his brain maybe his eyes not a sphere i don't know if we put an x-ray on him is he just like compacted is he just compressed like where's all the body parts is this why monster Inc. was so scary for you just thinking of that just unpacking just like it seven don't even get me started on randall <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense yeah so i went with monsters inc just for that first opening scene alone Ooh. that's fair that is the scariest part <laughs> i'm going to uh pick a, a movie that i actually just found out in the last 24 hours and watched um, so I didn't actually watch this as a child, but if I had, it would have been very upsetting. Okay, right. Have you heard of uh, Return to Oz? No, but... From the 80s? I, I mean, I've heard of it. I've never watched it. I was actually going to watch it uh, later this year before that Wicked movie comes out because I'm, I'm literally oh, seeing... One. I'm literally seeing the Wicked musical in like two weeks. Oh, um, going all out So I'm excited. Year. It's it's. It's a green year for you. But I've heard that's nightmare fuel movie wise. Well, yeah, I won't try to give too much away, I guess. But, I've heard it, I've heard um, probably a bit about it from like Liam and stuff. Like the Goblin King and stuff and the the Weezers. The Weezers? The the Wheelers? The yeah, yeah, the Weezers are the ones yeah. with asthma who like <laughs> Slow down. Well, it's I basically a pump. <laughs> It's basically just straight up sequel to Wizard of Oz, but like Dorothy comes home, that she's home, and they're like, "Oh gosh, this crazy girl!" So they take her to the doctor, and the doctor's like, "I can fix her. Gonna do some shock therapy and shit." Oh my god! So she like escapes and goes back to Oz or whatever. Only Oz is totally fucked up. She has a chicken instead of a dog, and that thing talks. She meets like a g- green moose and a pumpkin head, a oh lady gosh. who takes her heads off. It's terrifying. And the wheelers in place of the monkeys, and they have wheels for hands and feet, and they laugh. <laughs> it's I didn't even know this existed 24 hours ago. It has changed my past day, and that is definitely one of the scariest kids' movies. <laughs> so does it have the same cast, or is it like a whole new... It's the 80s. They wouldn't have brought, like, what's her name? Who plays Dorothy in the Judy original? Garland? Judy Garland? Oh my god, I'm going to get fucking annihilated for not knowing yeah. that. <laughs> Just start singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Save it, save it, bring it home. Somewhere over the rainbow. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't have brought her back because her mum yeah. probably would have drugged her more, so uh, they probably well, wouldn't have brought her She was also that. probably old. You know, no, but bring but, uh, you know what they've done like with requels and shit recently. Bring fucking oh, Dorothy, legacy return. Bring Judy Garland's corpse back to a remake. Just have yeah. her rock up at the end and be like, "Where's Toto? Where's my dog?" And, Where's and Toto? someone has to explain, "Hey, Dorothy, your dog died sixty years ago," and she's like, "My Toto." Here you go. It's Judy Garland in the new uh, Wizard of Oz movie. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if it. I didn't know if it translated. <laughs> oh my god, he grew skin again! 
Isn't yeah. it crazy though to think like if you lost all your skin in that right now, that's what you'd actually be sitting there looking yeah. like? Huh? So it's actually kind of real. I'm going to die in your chair and your... <laughs> that's my future. <laughs> and you know it's me and not you, so... Cat... Cat camera. Oh. So I've mentioned earlier a Spongebob episode. Mm-hmm that scared me so badly as a kid. And you know the classic, like, old-school Spongebob, they'll just have, like, a close-up of, like, the most disgusting frame possible. It's, like, just... B b Is there something behind you? No. No? Okay. Now you got me bugging out, dude. Oh, it's a dog's tail! It's, <laughs> it's a dog's yeah. tail coming out of your ear! <laughs> it's... Bubba, lay down! <laughs> I don't have a blanket. He's like, I just saw a cat go up that hallway. I might try and go up this hallway on here. It's just a floating tail. Your house is haunted, man. It's crazy. Ah, what is that? <laughs> it looks Jesus. like you're taking a shit out of your ear. <laughs> looks like he's about to. He's like spinning. <laughs> Australia's weird. I've gone with an episode called Graveyard Shift. Now, does that ring a bell to you at all? <sighs> Popping in like one of the deadites from Evil Dead Rise. Are you not going to address your wife just put her head in the... Dude, Bridget is back in America, Pug. I'm here with you. She's right there, man. She's right there. Miss you, Bridget. I feel like she's here with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f Okay, this is not going how I planned, but I'm having fun. This is a good episode. All right, yeah. So are you familiar with an episode called Graveyard Shift? I believe so. Is this what do you think? Nosferatu? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. dude. I swear that kept me up for nights after I watched that episode. And like, I thought that was a real person. Which one? Nosferatu or the hash slinging slasher? I think I was actually genuinely scared of both. Like the hash <laughs> slinging fair. slasher and then at the end, just that reveal of Nosferatu flickering the lights. And you're like, oh, he's kind of a goofy guy. But then it's like, as a kid, you're like... <gasps> He's going to steal the Krabby Patty formula. It's terrifying. The way he's just standing there too, and they've like composited it so well that he just fits <laughs> in. And it's like, I don't know if he's actually there as a customer or he's like, what's he doing? Like, please stop. And then that oh, episode God. is followed up with like, because they always do like the two episodes as one episode thing. It's like followed up with this like love episode. And it's like, how could you do that? <laughs> How could you scare me like that and then be like, oh yeah, next episode's a lovey-dovey episode. That's how it goes. I want to do, like, I just want to talk best Halloween TV episodes of shows in a video sometime. My list would be Goosebumps, 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 Goosebumps. Bridget said the, the mask episode, which I believe was the very first episode of Goosebumps. I just looked it up earlier. She was scared of. Was there an episode for Night of the Living Dummy? Because I don't... That I don't know. one, the book cover of that I, book yeah. always scared yeah. me. Oh, I have it on. Terrifying. I have it as a shirt. Like I'm sure you've seen it, the Goosebumps shirt with like the dummies on the front. But yep, yep. I could never look at that as a kid ever. It just creeped me <laughs> out. They're all just sitting there, just staring directly at the person about to buy the book. It's like <laughs> the no, Goosebumps that scared me ish was the one where everyone was turning into lizards. And then they had to eat cookies. And then I think at the end, he just kind of joins them and just like eats them. I don't think I recall that one. There's there's a couple I recall. It's a, a couple I recall. There's the Night of the Living Dummies. There's Night of the Living Dummies 2. <laughs> and then there's that... Um, Night of the Living Dummies 3. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's the, the one at the theme park. Lights, camera, die or something. And it was like them on the oh roller coaster. And it's like your skeleton behind you just... Dude, like I'm, I'm picturing these books now, just the book covers alone. You're like, I'm going to film some Goosebumps reactions today. Good. There was a, the, they, people said the new Goosebumps show that came out last year was pretty decent. And yeah, I, I haven't watched it. I, I wanted either. to. What about a, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Did you have that show? No. You didn't have that show? No. It's on. I think it was on Nickelodeon. Are You Afraid of the Dark was similar like a Goosebumps vibe bit. where like, the kids come together around the campfire and then they tell a different story each episode so it's like an anthology like that there's one with like this uh a pool monster and that always so that's how me. we got was... night swim basically <laughs> it's probably just as good now if i went back to watch so 
based on what I've heard of Night Swim. You know, I still got to see it. Anyway. Your pick, sir. I have another one? Um, All right. This is my last one. <laughs> and it would be Ernest Scared Stupid. Have you seen any of the Ernest movies? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea who Ernest no. is? Ernest had a bunch of movies in the 80s Hang and on, 90s. Have, have a look. He's just an idiot. Vern Troyer? What? No, that's not right. Ernest does comedy? Is that what you said? The Ernest Scared Stupid is the one oh, we're talking about. What? I think <laughs> I don't know. We got Ernest goes to college. 1991? A lot of things. Yeah, 1991. Yeah. And th- oh, that wow. Is that like- cast list is interesting. It's like human, human, and then this weird fucking orc thing called Trantor. <laughs> but it's not even a photo of the actor playing it. Pull up Ernest Scared Stupid on Google right now. Third cast member is a fucking orc. Yeah, exactly. That is the yeah, but- troll, and that is why Ernest Scared Stupid was one of the scariest children. But movie. normally, um, you have the actor <laughs> picture, not the fucking creature. Well, no, that's... Don't be an asshole. That's what he looks like. He's got big snotty boogers, a few horns p- poking out of where his eyebrows should be, big beard, a stick that kind of looks like... Never mind, I can't say that. What is that, though? Is it's a that troll. A... It's a troll. Like one that and, lives... Uh, like in the comments. Spoiler alerts. No. <laughs> like one that lives under a bridge. One that... uh kidnaps children turns them into tiny wooden dolls and puts them in his tree where he keeps them what the f- yeah you want to know how to defeat it turn off the comments no nope. ready milk okay well, is it lactose intolerant Ernest, because he's an idiot has the book and it has like the answer on how to defeat it and the answer is m i blank k Merc? Like, is it Merc? Miak. Miak. So he gets he gets a jar of whatever the f- Miak is, and that doesn't work. And then we found out it's milk. <laughs> Silly. I don't like that he has like testicles as a nose. He's literally got testicle nose. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, would you like my last picks? Yes, obviously. Five dollars. I can't. It's I can't tip you on here. You're not live. <laughs> I've got three that I can quickly quick fire through. And uh, one of them I feel like I need to get into the theme of. And that is, sing it with me here, the Ghostbusters theme song. Hey, I just saw that. Are you playing the music? I can't hear anything. No, I was waiting for you to go start humming it but then you oh. didn't so now i'm just sitting here going like this awkwardly with in silence and just watching you yeah it's fine just keep going let's see where this goes okay. <laughs> can we get a take it off channel i will send the five dollars just keep going ghostbusters scared you huh actually there's a couple of ghosts in these movies that as a kid scared me um yeah in the first movie alone, the library ghost scared the first the one is shit scary. out of That's me. That's a valid scare. I didn't oh. expect it to come in so hard with a horror feel the first couple minutes. That first ghost is terrifying. <laughs> and then they just bring in Slimer and you're like, oh, okay, so some of them can be pretty fun. You're like, well, I like him. <laughs> yeah, that first library ghost here, just like, is just chilling and it just... <laughs> it's like, like an Iron Maiden f- t-shirt out of nowhere. But then also, it's the same ghost that was like, Shh. And then it's screaming down the hall. It's like, what the f*** are you doing? You're not even listening to your own rules. Um, <laughs> what are some of the other ghosts? I'm trying to remember your reaction the other day. Uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, not scary. The demon dogs. The demon dogs were scary. David Bowie as demon like the gross. ghost thing was horrifying as well. <laughs> are you aware that was David Bowie? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the the Goza guy. Gozer was, was that David Bowie? Yes. You sure? Yeah, it wasn't David Bowie. I just wanted you to Google it. <laughs> yeah, I did Google it. I was like, once I saw, I was like, it no, kind of looks like that. him though, a little bit, right? I mean, it's got the David Bowie like vibe, the hair and everything. <laughs> Anyways, they could make another Ghostbusters with David Bowie's ghost now, so maybe they should do that. That'd be good. Hello, cat. Milo. Oh my god. 
Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of some of the other ghosts in there. Oh, the taxi cab ghost. Oh my god, he came up the hallway a lot quicker than I thought. Um, he literally couldn't have walked slower. <laughs> no, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, the taxi oh, cab ghost, quick. like the skeleton in... Okay, there's a bird oh, outside yeah? my... Okay. There's a bird outside my window. Can you tell he's in there's hunting? There's a bird outside your window. He's in hunting mode. Oh, he is in hunting mode. He's not a very good hunter, though. Okay, I'm just going to watch. Is he going to, like, <laughs> into the window or anything? Yeah, he might. No way. It'll take him, like, 20 minutes to do it, though, because he's, he's not a good hype man. I so, told you you should give Milo a segment, though, and this could be it. All right. Are you going to get him? We could make it a cat scare cam. Bah! He reacted slightly to that. <laughs> Just that gust of wind. It's back to Ghostbusters. Uh, the taxi cab ghost, which was like the dead zombie thing. Like, if I yeah. got in that, I would immediately get out of the car. There's no way that thing knows how to drive me back to my house. Yeah, uh, I just thought of Halloween Town since I didn't see it till last week. <laughs> have you seen Ghostbusters 2 yet? No, we have not watched no, okay. it yet. Although, I think, okay, I had talked about a painting which wasn't in Ghostbusters. Is the I, second one you have know, a painting? I had the exact same thought as you. I thought Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was in the second one, not the first one. And I thought this painting thing was in the. the First one, it's not. It's in the second one. Reversed. Yeah, it's. Legit I don't know. Reversed. I just knew of both of those things. I just thought they were all going to be in the first one. No, the painting but, one's the okay. second one. I'm pretty sure there's a. Well, then Bridget said you're just thinking of scary movie, and I was like, oh shit, maybe. I don't... Maybe the second one also has some pretty scary ghosts, but I actually don't remember. Like I saw this like what twenty something years ago now. Like I don't remember Ghostbusters two like at all. Yeah. So I'm waiting for your reaction. So hurry up. I'll do it soon. I got to do Kung Fu Panda 3 first. Sorry. <laughs> well, so I need to ask this question while I have you here. Do you think Bill Murray is an asshole? I've heard he is, but... No, I but do know. you like his character in Ghostbusters? I oh, don't. Oh, his character? I can't stand him. No, he's he's a creep. He's a fucking I creep. I can't stand him in Ghostbusters. He made me laugh a couple times good, but well, dude, I was like, you got to call the cops on him. Yeah, like, <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> When he, like, goes to inspect um, Sigourney Weaver's place, and then it's like, he's like... I'll go back to her place and inspect her. on her shit and everything. It's like, dude. I was nervous <laughs> but hey, that he wasn't going to notice she was possessed, <laughs> but he knew. It's it's a brutal watch. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> I'm excited to see two, and then I'm excited to see the new ones, because I know he's back. Now I just want to see old-ass Bill Murray acting like that, too, so... We'll see. He's not as bad. <laughs> not as bad today. Had, as well. I think they had to dial it back Perfect because climate. otherwise it's some 85-year-old man being like, yeah, yeah, I'll still make out with you when you possess. Dude, he'd still be talking to the college girl. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, but he would. He would be in Greece with Tom Hanks. If, if that was the case. Damn. That one might hit the cutting room floor. I'm not sure about that yet. Yeah, I like, no, I like that. that. was funny. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So, Ghostbusters. Good movies. I like to be busted myself, but I do enjoy watching Ghostbusters. My next pick was Arachnophobia. You haven't seen this yet, but I, I am so eager to see you watch Arachnophobia because mm. they're spiders that are just notorious in Australia. They're the huntsman spiders, the big mother and they're everywhere. Do you know the premise of Arachnophobia? This movie's PG-13, by the way. Not at all. I mean, so this I is a kids spiders. movie. So you don't really need a... It is? Yeah, it's it PG-13. Just... Okay, that's fair. Well, gee, I don't know. Just spiders. That's all I know. Is it still really scary? Does it hold up? Yes, absolutely. It makes your skin crawl. Next month. So. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> just a month of spider reactions. Oh, I'm so excited. And then by the end of, your month, the, end of the month, you're like... They're f chill. I'm just going to let them hang out in my kitchen. I don't care. I actually got one now. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just lift it up. Be one of those YouTubers that has like spider enclosures and they feed them and shit. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait, God, there's YouTubers that do that? Of course, I, don't I would like not have them. I'll shout out the Dark Den. He has like 500 tarantulas. Oh, I, don't, I don't understand people. All right. Have you got any more picks for scariest kids movies? I do not. I'm all out, actually. Didn't Sorry. ask your daughter or anything? Uh, no. She watched scary movies. So you didn't ask the one kid that could have helped with this episode? 
No. Well, she's... <laughs> If you, she's like, I'll tell you the scariest Roblox game. <laughs> That's then, fair. She That's got fair. You covered. Aubrey, what's the scariest game or movie? Have you watched or played? What do you think is the scariest? Poppy's Playtime. Poppy's Playtime, she said. Poppy's Playtime. I don't even believe her, though. <laughs> she wants to play the rest of it. <laughs> but then doesn't... She's like that sort of kid that's like interested, but then as soon as she plays it, she's like... She gets scared pretty quickly, yeah. but... She... Just well, being brave about it. <laughs> would you like to hear my final scariest kids movie pick? Yeah, is it going to be something wild? Hereditary. Why would that be? Don't show a kid that movie. <laughs> Any movie can be a kid's movie. Any movie can be a kid's movie. So, Hereditary. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm with you. You imagine that showing a, a kid Hereditary and just not showing, just showing them the start and then like the first 10 minutes, the, the nan ghost in the corner of the room. Yeah. And that's all you show the kid. You don't show them the rest of it. You just show them Nan Ghost, and and then, like, and they're like, drop. "What? Where's my Nan?" And you're in the corner of your room tonight. <laughs> and you're that kid. You're gonna have your kid sleeping in your bed because they're gonna be. Way Dude, too I can't even wear my saw mask or anything anymore because she just screams and runs up the hallway. Yeah. I couldn't Aubrey even pull really... that, the skeleton you have behind you. I pulled out, and she. Scream Didn't like it, and and has never been scared of any of this stuff before. It's like her it, like it fear comes out of nowhere. She's scared of birds. Oh well, that's all right. You're gonna have to fix that. But <laughs> this happened today, actually. A magpie, which is like a black and white bird. I don't know if you've seen a magpie before. Anyways, it flew over her while she was coming in with the groceries with Kara. She was hanging onto the fly screen door like this, being like, <laughs> like, let me in, please. And Just like, wouldn't move. Panic. So I had to like, actually kind of forcefully push her away from the door so she'd get inside because she was like whimpering. Jesus, that's... <laughs> Sorry to laugh at your kid for their terror, but... Why is, kid, why is kids being terrified funny? Can we end this by just watching like a compilation of kids just being scared shitless? <laughs> Do you want to do that? That would be funny. No, no, it's fine. You got a, you got a lot of other segments to get to, I think. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Cody. I do appreciate yeah, it. I'm, like, I hope Me you find another goats. wife. She's out there somewhere. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Hi, my name's Cody, and this... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guy, um, this was my beautiful wife Bridges, like a framed photo, and you hold it up to the camera. <laughs> just, I just put a picture on the skeleton, actually. <laughs> well, do you have any parting words of wisdom before you go back to doing whatever you're doing? Don't scare children. It's bullying, but it's also funny. If you're still here somehow, uh, Bridge Co. Fun Bad, get fun merch if you want. We're almost at 100,000. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and with that, that concludes the Pugger Hour. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Did you have a good time? Did you, did you just give up? I put a lot of effort into this one because I wanted to make it watchable. No one was available. David, Nick, unavailable. Yutaka, unavailable. Liam, unavailable. George, had a gummy and was high off his fucking head, also unavailable. So it was literally just me. So I actually genuinely would appreciate it if you let me know your thoughts, if I did a good job or not. Um, because I... <laughs> I put a little bit of effort into this. Uh, the Horror Hour also has a Patreon. I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is patreon.com forward slash Pugapilla. The Horror Hour is patreon.com forward slash the horror hour tv follow us on the socials follow us on all the stuff you normally do and uh yeah it's been fun sort of i've been by myself the whole time but uh, you're fucking kidding me yes i just put my other battery in i genuinely don't know how to end this but i just i know you can't tell but i'm blinking thanks <gasps> nick says hello calm down public school liam <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> George? They're okay. everywhere! They say this house is this! ZZ Avid? David? Stay awake, stay awake! You guys are all here! Now? You show up now? It's the end of the episode! What the f man? You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.
time.